No, correct. Don't be distracted from the large adrenal tumor. There's an intact cortex and a lack of soft tissue component. Don't jump to just say this is a metastasis. It's not. You can see a very nice paraspinal fat plane around the uh, cortex of the vertebral body. Let's move on. So we'll use the non-aggressive lesion decision tree. So is it solid or cystic lytic? Well, I think it had intermediate to dark T2 signal and a lot of solid internal enhancement. So we'll say that it is solid. Pretty uniform internal central enhancement. Let's move on. Any matrix type to this one? Not really. More of an exaggerated trabecular pattern, I would say. Doesn't have a uh, fluffy osteoid matrix or a ring and arc type matrix. So here's our differential. Fibrous dysplasia, Paget's, giant cell tumor. I probably wouldn't show you a giant cell tumor twice in a row. That'd be mean. Let's narrow it down. Well, it was Paget's disease. Incidentally, with adrenal cortical carcinoma. So the three E findings of Paget's disease, exaggerated trabecular pattern, enlarged cortex, and enlarged whole bone. And don't forget, this can be hot on a nuke scan. The classic finding is the Mickey Mouse sign. And stick to the flow chart. This wasn't adrenal cortical carcinoma with metastasis as originally thought. Here's the CT from two years ago where the lesion was stable, the whole lesion anterior and posterior elements were involved, sclerotic, enlarged bone, enlarged cortex. This is the last case as part of this series. There's one final video that's a brief summary if you'd like to move on to that. Thanks for your attention today.